Hello there. Welcome to this learning session about PMI Agile Certified Practitioner, PMIACP. We will start the introduction and move on gradually to the PMIACP details, and cover the Agile exam in format and finally close with knowledge skills. PMIACP Eligibility Requirements this slide describes the eligibility criteria in appearing for the PMIACP exam. PMIACP Timeline The slide describes the PMIACP, Professional Certification Examination, Development Processes. PMIACP Certification Fees The fee structure for a registered and non-registered member is presented in this slide. Please note that these figures are subject to change. PMIACP Certification, Maintenance, and Renewal The slide presents the certification renewal fees applicable for member and non-member. Again, the fees are subject to change. PMIACP Exam Blueprint Be informed about the allocation of questions, tools and techniques, knowledge and skills. PMIACP Exam Blueprint A pictorial representation of the tools and techniques, levels required and expected. Knowledge and Skills Levels a snapshot of the knowledge and skills levels presented for reference. Knowledge and skills levels. A snapshot of the knowledge and skills levels presented for reference. Lesson 2, Agile Project Management Framework. Agenda. You will get to know about Agile project management and related subjects in this session. Agile project management versus traditional project management. The fundamental differences traditional and project management are presented. What is agility? Agility is the ability of an organization to create value and to continuously delight the customer while promoting and responding to change in its environment. Agile Manifesto Manifesto for Agile Software Development The Agile Alliance value statement is documented in the slide. Principles behind Agile Manifesto These 12 principles, when followed properly, and applied in business, will lead to better outcomes and better software. Principles, focus on business need. Highest priority is to satisfy the customer through early, and continuous delivery of valuable software. Deliver on time. Welcome changing requirements, even late in development. Agile processes harness change for the customer's competitive advantage. Collaborate, business people and developers, must work together, daily, throughout the project. Never compromise quality. Build incrementally, from firm foundations. Deliver working software frequently, from a couple of weeks, to a couple of months, with a preference to the shorter time scale. Develop iteratively. Working software, is the primary measure of progress. Communicate continuously and clearly, the most efficient, and effective method of conveying information, to and within a development team, is face-to-face -face conversation. Demonstrate control, the best architectures, requirements, and designs emerge from self-organizing teams. This slide lists the authors of Agile Manifesto. Key values for Agile leaders, are Delivering value, 
over, meeting constraints, leading the team, over, managing tasks, and adapting to change, over, conforming to plans. Agile Performance Measurement Presented in a pictorial form Agile Methodologies The various Agile Scrum methodologies, as listed on the slide, might share the same characteristics and practices, but differ in implementation. Introduction to Agile Agile is one form of software development methodology. Its main focus is client satisfaction, through continuous delivery. Agenda You will get to know about mainstream Agile practices, and related subjects in this session. Agile, Project Management Lifecycle is presented in a pictorial form. APM Framework is presented in a pictorial form. APM Framework is a modern Agile framework that covers the entire life cycle of a project. There are five different phases of Agile Project Management Framework. Envision. Speculate. Explore. Adapt. Close. Vision. Two critical aspects of a vision are, clarity, and elevating a goal, that can make a difference. The vision statement must articulate the goals for the product. Envision phase. This phase defines the beginning of a project, for which the kickoff event might be the approval of a feasibility study. Envision phase is presented on the slide in a pictorial form. Product vision. The first stage in an Agile project is defining your product vision. The product vision statement is an elevator pitch, which is a quick summary about the product. Project scope. Project scope explains how a project will deliver on the product vision. Project scope. Project data sheet is presented on the slide in a pictorial form. Project Scope Project Data Sheet is presented on the slide in a pictorial form. Project Scope Project Data Sheet is presented on the slide in a pictorial form. Project Data Sheet conveys the essence, in terms of scope, schedule, and resources of how a project will deliver on the project vision. A project data sheet is a single summary of key business and quality objectives, product capabilities, and project management information. Speculate phase Helps in understanding the product and project creation, and also in understanding the product structure, and, backlog of capabilities. Speculate phase is presented on the slide in a pictorial form. Explore phase the explore phase delivers running, tested, and accepted stories. Explore phase is presented on the slide in a pictorial form. Adapt phase. Reviews the delivered results, and the team's performance, to adapt as necessary. Close phase. Conclude the project, pass along key learning, 
and celebrate. Lesson 3, Agile Planning Monitoring and Adopting Agenda You will get to know about Agile Planning, Monitoring, and Adopting, and related subjects in this session. Multiple Levels of Planning Planning of Agile projects occurs at multiple levels, namely strategic, release, iteration, and daily. It allows flexibility and adaptability. Iteration planning occurs at the start of each iteration. Product planning involves planning for the evolution of release system. Portfolio planning involves the selection of the product that will best implement a vision. Speculate phase helps in understanding the product and project creation. It also helps in understanding the product structure and the backlog of capabilities. User story acts as agreements between customers and team members to discuss requirements in an iteration. It provides a simple medium for requirement gathering, effort estimation and definition of acceptance tests. User story presented in a pictorial form.